Billy Mink is drawn down to the Halifax seaport after having discovered two more branches from the secret wreath of Piquea Rubens. If it's so secret, how come you know about it? I'm the narrator. I know everything. Then tell me where I'm supposed to go next. The branches are pulling Billy to the roots of his family tree, which he's about to uncover at the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21. Whoa! Branches! Whoa! At the Scotiabank Family History Centre, Billy digs through the archives and discovers that his great-grandfather, William H. Minky, passed through this great gateway to Canada. Great-grandpa? You came through here? I sure did, William! And so did almost one million other immigrants, refugees, war brides, and displaced persons between 1928 and 1971. They came on ocean liners from many different countries, sailing across the Atlantic to start a new life in Canada. What do you see, Billy? He's in his cabin on the ship, looking a little seasick, actually. His trunk is all packed up. He's stepping off the ship into this hallway and into a crowded room. To clear immigration and customs. You had to pass medical inspection, too. Now he's at a small grocery counter buying food. Food that many immigrants found very unfamiliar and expensive. Twelve cents? That's highway robbery. His family, all right. Ah, there's his trunk being loaded onto a train. To where? To Montreal, where he'll soon fall in love with your great-grandmother, Marguerite. I'm part French? Sacre bleu! Hey, oui. Every immigrant on this train is traveling across Canada in what are called colonist cars. They're excited but anxious about how their new life will play out. Checkmate? Again? Oh, who's that girl? That's Ozma Lavalds, an eight-year-old refugee from Latvia who was named 50,000th displaced person in Canada. You can go find out more about her and all the other amazing stories at Pier 21. Goodbye, Great Grandpa! Thanks for, well, making me! And for the next hour, Billy has a blast operating a telegraph, dressing up in costume, and looking through a Dutch kist. This place is awesome! And you've only seen half. <laughs> Tune in next time when Billy explores 400 years of history in the Canadian Immigration Hall. N'est-ce pas, Monsieur Mink? Ben oui!